Welcome back. Joining me now in the Daytime Buffalo studio is Tika Monet Walker, who is here today to talk to about to the Federation of Buff Buffalo Federation of Neighbor Centers Youth Services Erie County about their annual fall celebration. Hi, Tika. Tell me all about it. Hello, Chelsea. Thank you so much for inviting me to come on. Um, so every year we host our annual Oktoberfest or Fall Festival um, in which we coordinate with our coll collaborative partners to be able to host a giant health fair that is all outside um, that has like a fair and carnival aspect to it. Um, so the purpose of the fair is to be able to link people with the services that they need in order to be successful in like their everyday lives, right? Um, so we know the reality is, is a lot of times, especially when we're talking about like the social determinants of health, mm -hmm. people don't necessarily have the services that they'll need to be successful when it comes to those like health related things. Um, so at the fair, we will have the Erie County Department of Health. They'll be doing cancer screenings. We've partnered with the UB um, Jacobs School of Medicine who will also be on site um, to give out like cancer screenings. We have fresh produce. Um, we we have carnival games, of course, for the little ones. Um, we have a petting zoo. This year we'll have a magic show. This event is completely free to everybody in our community. Um, and our vendors, we love them. We are absolutely thankful that they wanted to participate um, to be able to help us reach as many people as necessary. So I mean, we'll have vendors providing um, mental health referrals. We have vendors who will be recruiting for like primary care. We also have folks coming to recruit for CNA jobs and training um, is just a wonderful experience and it is truly a labor of love for our community. Tell me a little bit more about the Buffalo Federation of Neighbors, Neighborhood Centers. So Buffalo Federation of Neighborhood Centers, or more affectionately known as BFNC, is an organization that is community-based. We have provided health-related and human-related services for at least 125 years. Um, and we have a healthy track record when it comes to providing those supports for our community. Um, everything that we do, it is community-based, and it really is just out of passion for community. Why is it so important for you guys to throw an event like this? It's important because we need to show our community that we care, right? Um, caring about our community is so important. I am a firm believer um, in it takes a village. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have to show that the village cares and the village is willing to provide support. And so to anybody out there who is in need of support, if you are looking for youth services, um, if you need to put your teen in a program where it helps to build character, stake in the community, right? The importance of being a community and village we have programming for that. Um, if you are a person of older age, um, we also have programming for our elderly population to keep them in the best health and also to encourage socialization at those older ages. Um, we have a tax program. We have so many different assistance programs. We have case and care management just to be able to guide people along the way. So we know that everyone has their own very unique human experience. Our job is not necessarily to change that or write things in, but let us help you mm -hmm. in your own human unique experience. How long, how many years have you guys been doing this Fall Fest? So this is our third year of the Fall Festival and every year it has grown in size. It's been amazing to see how many people support us and how many people come out and just all of the good reviews. So. Last year we had around 250 show up and the weather was terrible. So it was wonderful to still <laughs> see um, so many people show up and be a part of and love what we do. So it has truly been an honor um, to be able to be the director of Youth Services for Erie County and plan this and put this together and just build something up so amazing that our community looks forward to every year. What would you say your favorite part of this event is? So my favorite part of this event is, and I know this is gonna sound funny, but when I get to see so many people from different parts of our community that like maybe I haven't seen in a while, it's kind of like a big family reunion. Yeah. So it is truly a beautiful space that encourages and fosters um, healing. It, it fosters joy um, and just a space full of laughter and celebration. So I love Fall Festival because I love the people who attend and I absolutely love the community um, and being able to provide supports for Buffalo and people all throughout Western New York. 
what's new and exciting this year? This is, like you said, th third year now. It's getting bigger and better every year. So what I'm really excited for this year um, is our petting zoo, of course. We have it every year, but I'm really excited for this year. Um, being able to have our magic show, but most importantly, our dental pop-up clinic. Um, so while we are hosting Fall Festival, people will be able to come in, get a get quick teeth screening, cleaning advice, and things like that. I'm also really excited to see how many people sign up to be able to get the different scripts, to be able to get those cancer screenings, um, and just live their healthiest lives. Mm -hmm. It's always a joy just to see how much people take away from this and just being able to help people. I know we can't solve necessarily every problem, um, but where we can help has been a pleasure. And this is a great start. Thank you so much, Jika, for coming in and sharing all that you guys do. And viewers, again, the Buffalo Federation of Neighborhood Centers annual fall celebration is happening at 76 Orange Street on Friday, October 6th from 4 to 8. You can learn more about the BFNC over on their Instagram at BFNC. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.